With cybercrime on the rise, increasing your online security is becoming more important. There are extensions for the Google Chrome browser that can help to protect your sensitive information and increase your overall privacy. In this video, I will show you 10 of the best extensions for Chrome that can help to enhance your security. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. First up is Privacy Badger, which is created by the Electronic Frontier Foundation. This browser add-on blocks ads and other third-party trackers that secretly track you while you're on the web. You'll find the icon for Privacy Badger to the right of the address bar. Some of my trackers are different colors, but when you first start using this extension, you'll notice all the sliders are green. If it detects that an advertiser is tracking you over multiple websites, it will block that advertiser from loading any more content. If you recognize a domain that you want to block, for example down here I see ads.linkedin.com, you can move the sliders yourself. Currently that one is green. Moving the slider one to the left will block cookies and turn the slider yellow, and moving the slider to the far left will turn it red and block that domain. You shouldn't have to mess with these sliders too much. The Privacy Badger extension will usually begin blocking trackers after installation when you've been to at least four to five websites. Unshortened.link helps to reveal those suspicious looking shortened links on web pages. They usually start out with bit.ly, t.co, and there are many others. I'll demonstrate. On this web page, there's a bit.ly link. When you click on the link, First, it takes you to a page that will give you the full URL, and it looks like it's going to sciencedirect.com. It also lets you know if a site is safe or malicious. If you want to continue onto the site, just click the URL. The unshortened.link extension just may save you from accidentally going to a dangerous website. Dashlane is the first of two password managers that I will show you in this video. LastPass used to be my primary password manager, but with the many security issues they've had, I've dropped them and have been testing out several password managers. Dashlane is easy to set up and use. Their icon sits to the right of the address bar. I've created an alternate Dashlane account just for this video. The primary tab you'll use is All Items. This is where all your accounts are listed. To the far right is Generator, where you can copy strong passwords for your accounts and you can change the length of the passwords with the slider here. Let's go back to all items. You can also think of it as a bookmark manager for all the sites that you log into. Clicking on one of your accounts will take you to their website. Selecting login will automatically log you into that site. If you're looking for an alternative for LastPass or have never used a password manager before, Dashlane is a great one to check out. Ghostry is another extension that can help you to find out who is tracking you online. It will show you how many trackers there are on a web page. This site is currently showing 21. I will change over here to detailed view to get a better look at the trackers. It shows that 12 are being blocked. If you see ones not being blocked, like double click, you can select them individually, or you could select block all to get rid of all the trackers and you can reload the web page to see the changes. While reducing the trackers following you, Ghostery makes web pages load quicker too. A vast online security helps to alert you if a website is considered to be unsafe by their community of over 400 million users. When you do a search, sites with a green bubble are believed to be safe. Those in gray with a question mark don't have enough data to give a rating. And if you find a site in red, those are deemed to be unsafe. Let's select one of those links. When you select the Avast icon, you can rate that site with a positive or negative rating. You can also see the trackers used on that website that you can allow or block. For rating websites, this extension is similar to another add-on that you may be familiar with called Web of Trust. Unlike Web of Trust, Avast Online Security has never been caught selling user information. Disconnect allows you to block individual sites that track you, which they claim can make web pages load up to 44% faster. Select the disconnect icon. At the top, the trackers for Facebook, Google, and Twitter are automatically blocked. 
Below that, you'll see categories for advertising, where it shows 62 are being blocked, analytics, where it's blocking one request, and social and content. In addition to Privacy Badger and Ghostery, Disconnect is yet another great choice for blocking trackers. Blur is the second password manager in this video. It protects your passwords and helps to mask your credit card information to make shopping online more secure. When you select the Blur icon, you'll notice that it also blocks trackers on websites too. Unlike Dashlane that I showed you earlier, it does not list all your accounts. Here at the bottom, if you select Settings, you have several options to turn on or off. On my normal account, I usually just leave them all turned on. Back on the Humble Bumble website, I'll show you what it looks like when you log into any of your accounts. So I'll select Login. Clicking into the first field will autofill the username and password. Blur is another great choice for those of you that want additional features from your password manager. HTTPS Everywhere was created by the Electronic Frontier Foundation and the Tor Project. It encrypts your internet browsing experience by turning insecure HTTP link requests to the more secure HTTPS. When you're on a website, this extension will force an encrypted connection with that site and all those connected to it. This is an extension you can just leave turned on and forget about it. With HTTPS Everywhere added to Chrome, it will help to protect you from the many forms of surveillance and account hijacking. Click and Clean can be used to delete browsing history, cache, cookies, and a whole lot more with just one click. First, select the Click and Clean icon, and when you're ready to close out your browser, select Securely Close Browser. You can remove certain things individually. You have the choice to clear private data, cache, history, downloads, and cookies. If you want to change the settings, select the gearbox, and you have several options here to tick on or off. Click and Clean is an easy to use extension for removing junk from your browser. uBlock Origin is my preferred ad blocker. It blocks more ads, uses less system resources, and web pages appear to load faster than its competitors. Let's take a look at uBlock Origin on a horrendous site for ads. This is what this site looks like with uBlock Origin turned off. Now I'll turn this extension back on by selecting the icon and clicking on the power symbol. To reload this page, I'll select the refresh icon. Now this website looks better and loads quicker without the ads. If you're using Adblock Plus or any of the other choices and you're noticing more ads are getting through, give uBlock Origin a try. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Let me know in the comments if you feel another security extension for Chrome should have made this list and I'll check it out. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell notification icon for more security tips and other tech related stuff from Tech Gumbo.